So hi, welcome to the Loft YouTube channel. Today we have an exciting update that we are launching Cursor, the new AI code editor with Pod. So this is a code editor which has some AI capabilities built in, which you will see through the video. But if you are not aware about what Pod is, Pod is an open source code spaces alternative. So you can download the GUI and you also have a CLI. So you can use that to create workspaces on anywhere you want using any ID you want. So excited about what cursor is and how you can use with Deppot. Let's get started. So the first step is you should have Deppot installed. If you don't have, you can just go and click over here to get it done. But I have it installed, so I will just go and open it. So once open, there is a concept called workspaces. So workspaces are like your remote development environments. So where your code is running. So you can just go and click on create. And then you have three options. You have a folder, you have a git repo, you have an image. So you can choose whatever you want. But as this is a demo video, what we will do is we will just go and use a sample. So let's, for example, take the Python sample. And then you can have providers like Docker, Kubernetes, cloud providers. We support a lot of providers, including external providers, which is from the community. So you can have anything you want. But here we will just go with a simple Docker. So let me just switch on Docker. And then you have the option to have any ID you want. So for example, as we showed, uh, we want cursor over here. And if you can't see this over here right now, you just need to go to settings and click on cursor as an experimental ID. So we have enabled this as an experimental ID. And if you enable this, you can see that on your dashboard. So let's choose Python as a sample repository. Uh, the provider where your code spaces alternative workspace will run as docker and then at the end of the day id is cursor so once you go and uh, click on create workspaces the things will start and it will do a couple of image pools and all those things and will launch so let's go and click on create workspaces and we will wait for a couple of seconds so what we see is like it is just pulling the image and trying to inject the Depot agent inside the Docker container. And it will take a couple of seconds. And once that uh, once that is done, then we will just connect through SSH to a cursor. So let's wait. So you need to give the permission over here as yes. And as you can see, we have this connected and it is running on a dev container JSON standard. So it will do all the configuration and everything. And as soon as the VS code server is downloaded, it will work. Uh, it's here right now. So if you see it's running inside a container and it has a lot of things so we will just see uh, what things can we use with cursor a simple uh, couple of sentences so when you use cursor you have AI capabilities with you so you can install extensions and everything or you can define it as well so we'll just try to chat with the code base so let's do that and we will just ask for sake of asking what is this code doing so it's simple as like what is the code doing as we see it's just a simple flask endpoint which is serving static html so we will just see it's replying uh, that yeah as we see and then if you want to ask more uh, you can just go and ask it follow up questions so it will just go through the code and make sure you understand and the importance is that there might be a lot of places when you are getting onboarded to a project it might be complicated so you can ask cursor about things and specific lines or specific code bases to have a better developer experience so this is simple and once you are done with your work you can just go to the pod and delete the workspace it's as simple as going on deleting and click on delete it will just remove the docker container and the workspace has been 
again thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't subscribed us yet feel free to subscribe and like the video and see you in the next report bite bye bye